Andy is the first one of the season. Birmingham sits in the Alpha Cup tomorrow. Um, we'll just talk about the last couple of months, the off season. How's it been for you personally, reassessing after last season and just preparing for the upcoming year? Yeah, it, I, it's been really good. Um, you know, we've worked. You know, you work really hard with targets, and I, you know, I keep seeing, I keep seeing um, comments, and we need more, like more signings, that sort of stuff. You know, it's not as easy as just. Um, um, just sign on anybody, do you know what I mean? We, we, we do our research, um, you know, they have to be good people. Like, we met loads of players throughout the summer, and some just weren't right for us. Um, and others who've, done, who've come in the building have done fantastically well so far. We're really pleased with what we've got in. Um, you know, we know we need it in a couple of areas to strengthen, uh, we know that. Um, you know, there's a lot of players, especially young ones who you will probably go out as well and get get minutes and get loan minutes as well. Um, you know, so you know we still got three four weeks, uh, which is going to be pretty busy. But you know we've laid, laid the foundations fantastically well throughout the summer. And of course, last week we was away in Aberystwyth on a little pre-season camp. How was that in terms of team bonding and just seeing the lads gel together as a group? Yeah, I mean it's brilliant. Again, um, the lads are the lads were fantastic in terms of their um, we got we got their sort of sort of. Back in the Wednesday, so we try, trained really hard sort of Wednesday afternoon. Um, obviously, watched the England game uh, together as a group on the on the Wednesday night. Thursday was probably one of the toughest, toughest days we've had in pre-season. Um, had like a brutal kind of uh, high rock session. To be fair to them, they worked their absolute socks off. Uh, I think you've seen some of the pictures that I've gone out. Um, absolutely brutal. To be fair, and every single one of them looked looked a million dollars. To be fair, they were, they were brilliant. Got through it. Really, really tough. Friday again, another tough morning. We had a game of golf um, the afternoon. Half the players had an afternoon off, and the rest of us played a, a game of golf. The staff, I think it was the staff and players, we, we drew in the end. Um, I lost my game to the lab, so I, I owe him one for that. Um, but yeah, it was brilliant again. Fantastic golf course. Um, we had, I think, we had a quiz night as well. One night, I think Thursday night, uh, Ozzy and Clark, he got a a fantastic quiz for us, really good. I think you got one question wrong. I was only suspended for four games last year, not six, and they said it was six on the answer, so you got that one wrong. And then Saturday morning, if you've seen the videos, we went on the beach at half six in the morning, uh, 2K run, we've done sprints, sand dunes, and you've seen them, they were brutal, to be fair to them. Then we had an 11 v 11 game, um, and then you know we had, we, had a, we had a night out on the Saturday night, which was brilliant as well. Come back Sunday. Um, and now we're, we're fully focused on our, our, you know, it's our first week now with games, you know, obviously going to be slightly different. Usually the first games you're looking at 45 minutes each, you know, we've, we've, we've got a few sort of experienced players out, so we're going to be relatively young, um, you know, which is fine. The lads have done that fantastically well, young lads have done brilliant, have come back in great shape. Um, so it's going to be a mix of youth, youth, and, youth and experience in, you know, probably the next couple of games. And then to be going to next week, where you know minutes will be ramped up again. Um, but what we're looking forward to the game, it's going to be obviously a really, really tough game. New manager, the way they're different to the way they play, or they have played recently. So um, it'd be good to test ourselves against against that. And uh, but what we're really looking forward to. And of course, tomorrow's fixture, the Arthur Cup, it goes a bit more than just the football on the pitch, obviously. It, obviously, in a memory of um, Arthur Lavinjo Hughes, um, you know, how much, how important is it for the borough and the people involved with it? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, I think it was a national story, wasn't it? I think everyone kind of knows the story. Uh, being a local lad as well, when being down the road from you, um, absolutely heartbreaking, heartbreaking story. Especially if you've got children yourself. Um, um, you know, it's, it was it was absolutely heartbreaking. So it's a massive game for that to. So one, um, obviously recognition of what, what happened, recognition of how we can try and help, you know, obviously a, a charity that's, that's formed to try and help that. I know, um, you know, they, they do a fantastic job. My wife works for Silo Council now, uh, with kind of in children's homes and all that sort of stuff. And they, they need massive help and funding. Uh, and hopefully, you know, games like this and uh, the recognition these kind of games give, you know, a big club like Birmingham City coming down as well, you know, supporters coming in, um, you know, hopefully it raises awareness of that charity as well and uh, obviously in memory of Arthur who, who obviously went through what he went through and, um, you know, absolutely devastating, 
in that respect. But hopefully we can you know move forward as a you know and, and support that charity going going forward. And this is a great way to do it. Andy.